Aster's database solution, AstroDB, is powered by Drizzle as its ORM layer. But one thing, the enum was not available in AstroDB until last week. I want to talk through what it is, why it matters, and how you can use it in your project. You ready? Let's go. Hey, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Okay, so let's talk about this whole enum thing and why it might be helpful. You can see here I've got two different tables to find, an author that just has a name and an ID, and then a project that has a title, type, and author ID that links it to that other table. Now, right now, I really just want this type to be either video, article, or podcast, but the only thing I've had up until this point is just the column of text. In fact, you can see that I've got text, number, boolean, date, and JSON. Now, Jerusalem actually allows you to also define an enum as one of these text options inside of here. And now Astro does too. The text column can optionally define a list of string literals to serve as an enum for generating types. Now this is important. No runtime validation has to, is going to be performed. This is just for typing. So it's just a DX improvement, but it is really helpful when you're working with your data to know exactly what your data should look like. And then of course, remember to validate it when you're inputting stuff or changing it or removing it. Okay, so all that to say, here's what we wanna do. We wanna add this right here right over here. But before I do that, let's talk through what the project currently does and why this might be valuable. So you can see if I come over here, we've got our authors page and I can just add a new author like Chris here and add this author and it shows up down this way. Now in projects, I've got the same kind of thing where I can enter a title like Chris's project and let's choose, I don't know, let's choose a video and I'll choose Chris as an author and add the project there and it optimistically updates the UI. Now I'm not doing anything too intense here. It's basically just taking a form option here I've got a title, a type, and a project author. Same thing over here, except it's just a name. Then I'm passing it along to an Astro action. Now again, you have to do all your validation when you're inputting stuff into your database. And that's what I'm doing with Zod, and Astro actions are a great way to do that. I'm saying this has to be a string, and I can, of course, limit this as well to like a length of string. But I've got the same thing for the title here. Here I actually do have an enum in Zod, so this is what I'm defining as, one, as a video, an article, or a podcast when I'm inserting stuff into my database. So I actually know that it is only one of the three values here. And then uh, I'm handling all this, checking that the author exists and just inserting it into the database. However, I have no real type safety. So let's actually come to the homepage here. So if I come like this and we come to the homepage, you'll see I've got just my video projects. In fact, let's open this up over here. You'll see this where I'm just selecting just the video projects. However, I don't actually know what these values are. If I try to check this out, with control and spacebar, you'll see I get no type safety. So I have to go check my config and make sure what, what, what were the values I could have here? Oh yeah, I just wanted it to be video, article, or podcast. Now, wouldn't it be nicer if I could actually grab that directly here? Well, you can now with this whole enum thing. So again, this is a DX improvement only, but it is a genuine improvement. If I come over this way, uh, actually to the config, let's add this right here. This is just the enum. And now I can define a, an array here with all the values. So video, uh, article, and we have also got podcast. So now my typing will say that these are the only values there. And because I've gone ahead and validated that on the action, I know that those are the only values there as well. So now if I come back over this way, I can just check to make sure video, podcast, and article, yep, they show up right there, just like you'd expect. So let's just grab the video ones. And you might have to restart your dev server if you change that config, sometimes that happens. You'll see that you've now got just the ones that's showing that video. If I come over here again, like we can select something else like podcast. And again, it should give me that actual type hint. So now I actually have some safety on the front end to know exactly which items are in this database schema. You can actually see this if you hover over this type here, where now I'm seeing the exact values that are returned. In fact, let's grab this just a little more simply. Let's not do an inner join. We'll just do like projects like this. And I'm going to get rid of all this right here. And if I look at this project, you'll see that I now get back the exact types here. This is an enum, these are strings, this is a number, and the author ID is a number. So again, maybe a simpler way to see it there. Now, of course, not only do I get it in the type of this way, but if I come over here, you'll see that I actually get it down here as well. And right here, it's showing me those types. So you get this type safety really nicely all the way from the back end through your database layer into the front end so that you get the best DX possible so that you know what you're actually grabbing from your database. Now, if you're interested more in working with AstroDB, let me know. I'd be happy to do some more advanced tutorials on it. I've done a section in my course on it as well that I want to update as well. So it might be great timing altogether. I love this type safety all the way through the stack from front end to back end, all the way down to your database layer. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding.